That broke your goddamn neck! I miss you already. Oh my God. Hello. Yo, what's up, man? What the F word are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my G damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. But please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the F is that boy? No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy, come in. Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh yeah, some serious corporate gang banging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my uh, my penis. I want you to leave. Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? Now look, Deborah, I love you, and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd! I told you, I've got a career! I don't need this! 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 Crap! Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd! Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now, you and your weird friend. Whoa, hey, my name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name is. I'm not afraid to use this, I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob. You people are not very fucking nice. Trevor? <laughs> oh. mm, hey there, Wade. Did you meet Deborah? Ooh, interesting lady. Yeah. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car, all right? Let's go! Oh, I know exactly where to take you. I could run in and get Floyd and Gebra. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. Mm, no, I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Floyd's trip? Exactly. Oh, Trevor, what have you got all over yourself? You're all red. You got, you got syrup? Yeah, syrup, accidents, we've all been there. We sure have, but, but it don't taste like syrup. Don't taste me, all right? Just no licking. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure, last year. 
I look on the way to the gathering with Gagey Bell and Kush Chronic and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit and you met a dealer and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, they was with you driving out to the quarry and then they just disappeared. Poof, right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now Cousin Deborah don't want you around. I mean, there's a pattern here. The Congo did get messy. The pattern is you can't rely on anyone, anyone except me. Here we are. What do you think? So, this is where Floyd is gonna meet us at Strip Club? Oh, yeah. That guy like him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here. Mm, right here. Here? Mm. <laughs> Here, now I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you, you two, you two, I want you to give this boy a good time for a long time. Hey, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taken over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentlemen's Club. All right, message Franklin.
My boy Mike. Good to see you. I need me some cardiac after playing that pussy, you heard? You can say that again. I asked for your number, but they took my phone. City of Saints and Struggle, Lost Scandals, Santa and Trouble. Hell yeah. Yo, what it do, fam? So, the studio up and running? Hey, before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? I've had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. I, uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh... Anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But... But! It'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Taking the temperature? Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. All right. Nice drive! That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man. Getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground as hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Hey, man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group from the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, oh, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me, though. No? Well, remind me to go over with you again sometime. But not now. Hey, man, what's up? Look, dog, Light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserve? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Trevor. How are you doing? Uh, well... Uh, I like clockwork, Mikey. I like clockwork. Mm. 
You mentioned a uh, job before. Something I can help you with. I... Okay. Ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. Why don't you talk to Michael about it? Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man, when there ain't an obvious profit in something. You're a hard guy to motivate. Just went 13.30. We got two hours before we need to be in Murrieta Heights. Do they call it a wasting disease because you waste people's time? Move it! Be in 
a tunnel. Don't worry, it's a straight road. They'll come out the other side. Now, go around. Meet them at the other end. I was hoping they'd come through here. This tunnel would work for a switch. They go in, you come out. There they are, back out in the open. It'll need to be a quick turnaround, but you can take them in there. Onion 86 in sight. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the jewel store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro Tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that! Looking for a big asshole! About Feel pretty good. We got Lester planning it. He'll get us options. There's you, a guy I know I can depend on. And then there's Trevor. Ah, yeah, Trevor will get it done. And Willie? I hope so, man. I hope he holds it together. Hey, you ain't done too good of a job at that yourself, you feel me? Yeah, well, I ain't pissed off hillbillies, bikers, a Mexican gang, some Chinese gangsters, and a private army, okay? So there's that. Yeah, but you just pissed off the FIB and the IAA and your family, man. You know what? I met Amanda, and I know who scares me the most. <laughs> Point taken. So you gonna tell me about this Brad dude and the deal with the FIB? What happened in North Yankton back in the day anyway? This ain't the time. Man, we about to go in together on the biggest job ever being pulled. There ain't ever gonna be a better time to fill me in on this shit. It's complicated, all right? Fuck it, I'm gonna ask Trevor. Don't. Ask Trevor. Shit, man, you sound shady, dawg. Real shady. We'll talk, all right? Just later. All right, holla at him. Hey, when he's got something, Lester will be in touch.
got to book me something Someone soon, Jonathan. Skin this guy by me is a fashion retard. Okay, yeah, bye. Why, oh, why weren't you drowned at birth? Thank you. 
sucks. Sorry, pal. You dumbass. Like a man who knows what he wants. I got a proposition for you. Hey, you! Hey, 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 hey! Hey, thing. Nice house, isn't it? You like it? I'm selling it. You want to buy it? I'm downsizing. No, no, I'm good. I used to sell houses like this. All the time, okay? I sold dreams. I made lives meaningful. I'm not sure about that. How oh, much you like? You like beautiful things, though, don't you? Sure. Well, I just happen to know the most beautiful woman. You want a bouncy bouncy? Josh. Josh Bernstein. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the Josh Bernstein. Yeah, I never heard of you. Oh, well, I used to be a big deal once in real estate, and so I had my license taken away. My meal ticket. Where's the chick? I'll get to that, I'll get to that. See, it's not really, it's not really money that I'm after here. It's just it's a little something more awkward than that. Now, Lenny Avery. <laughs> he, he was my best friend. And now, he has taken all of my clients all of them. Do you think that you could take out all of his for sale signs? That was easy. She's worth it, man. I love you. I love you. I love you. Lenny Avery.
Nice ride, big homie. Trunk of this thing.